Today I'm going to be showing you uh, the different joysticks available for the Radio Shack Color computer. I uh, have to show you a picture of these original joysticks because I don't still have mine, or at least I can't find them anywhere at all. Uh, and the fact that I throw almost nothing away and can't find them shows you something about the lack of quality of these joysticks. About all you can say is that they're better than nothing. Uh, the big problem with them is that they're not self-centering. There's no self-centering function, which makes it a lot more difficult to play a lot of arcade games that depend on a self-centering joystick. The other thing is the it has a single fire button and it is extremely weak. You bear down on that fire button like you do when you're getting into a game, and they just didn't hold up. Uh, it's not a big deal to... Uh, solder in a new one. Uh, of course, now it would probably be rather difficult to find the fire button. But uh, back when I used to use them, I'd replace the fire buttons every year or two because they didn't hold up as well at all. And fortunately, uh, there were later some better alternatives, which we'll get to now. I said, next we have the deluxe joystick, a major improvement. Still not a great joystick, but a major improvement. And for most people, if you've got a decent joystick, this is probably what you have. It's self-centering, but you can take it on the back, if I can get it to work here. It's a little mean to get to do, but... There's a couple of tabs here that you can set and see now it's free floating. If you need it to use the free floating, you can. And then you set it back to use being used uh, as self-centering. You've got a slide switch here and a slide switch here, so you can adjust it uh, to get it where to get the exact center that you need to get. If it's not, you know, if it's not responding quite right to center, you can adjust the center. It has two fire buttons. When it first came out, the color computer only supported one fire button. But the reason is that uh, even though this is a different connector from a PC joystick, uh, it's an analog joystick and the PC is an analog joystick, uh, there are some differences. But basically, you can use a color computer joystick as is on a PC. If you're going to use a PC joystick on a color computer, you have to do a slight modification to it. But the point is that Radio Shack could use this same joystick on with their, with their uh, Tandy 1000 line of computers. Well, the old style single button joystick that didn't self-center with the cheap fire button just clearly wasn't good enough that anybody was going to want it for the Tandy 1000 line. So we got this deluxe joystick. Like I say, not great, but better, and has two fire buttons. That became important later on because when the Color Computer 3 came out, uh, it supported uh, two fire buttons. So you get two fire buttons with the Color Computer 3. And then towards the end of the, of the Color Computer, and the Tandy 1000 for that matter, they came out with a pistol grip joystick. Uh, has slide switches here to adjust the centering and it has uh, a, the two fire buttons here and it also has two fire buttons on the base and then there's a switch down here that you can switch between the grip fire, pistol grip fire buttons or the base fire buttons and typically it just works the best to use the, cripple, the pistol grip. Has uh, uh, suction cups so if you're going to mount it on a surface you can go and it, it gets a bit stiff towards the edges so it really works best on a solid surface. <laughs> the, the next thing that, that uh, Radio Shack offered was a mouse. Actually to begin with they offered a single button mouse uh, but about the time that the Color Computer 3 came out and uh, OS 9 Level 2 came out uh, they offered a two button mouse here. It's got a real nice metal ball in here works real nice, um, but when they did that, one of the things is that to use it as a mouse and, and to be able to make small adjustments on the screen, the regular uh, 
color computer joystick port that only had 64 values for the x-axis and for the y-axis really wasn't precise enough and so Steve Bork worked with Radio Shack and they developed this it is a uh, high-resolution joystick interface what you do is you plug the uh, mouse or the joystick oops this way you plug the mouse or the joystick into the interface and then you plug this connector into the joystick port and this connector into the cassette port on the color computer and using some software tricks I don't know exactly what to use but using some software tricks and using this hardware uh, it gives you instead of 64 values for your X and Y axis it gives you 256 values so you have real precise control and then there were two other possibilities of joysticks that you could use for the color computer the first is this your good old Atari joystick uh, obviously this is digital and the color computer uses analog uh, so the, you can't just plug it in you can't just make an adapter and plug it in but there were some companies uh, spectrum projects I know is one of them that made an adapter that you plugged this into the adapter and it read this digital joystick and then it would send analog signals through the uh, joystick port so that for games and most games just use you know the eight direction joystick port for so for a lot of games this would have actually been a pretty good way to play them using a standard digital joystick the other thing that you could have used is this a PC joystick this is a very nice it's way way better than the deluxe joystick it's got instead of slide controls for the centering it's got controls that you twist It's geared controls works a lot better the fire buttons are nicer the problem of course is that instead of a round joystick port you've got a different port so you have to make up an adapter and also there are some differences in internally between a PC joystick and a color computer joystick and I won't go into it in this video but basically a color computer joystick will work on a PC just fine as is all you have to do is put the right connector on or put in an adapter but to use a PC joystick with the color computer you have to open the joystick up and and slightly modify it you have to add another wire inside of it to make it work once you do that it will still work just fine as a PC joystick but you do have to make the modification for the color computer joystick and so you know that's uh, just a little short view of uh, the joystick uh, choices you had for the color computer